Namaste, good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, depending on where you are on this planet. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com, and I just want to do a quick update on these high-pitched frequencies that are going on. And I'll give a couple minutes here to see if anyone shows up, but I know a lot of people are not getting notified. It should come up automatically if you're looking on a laptop in the lower left-hand corner um, of, of your screen, but apparently it's not happening for a lot of people, and I understand. Uh, I'm currently working with Facebook. As a matter of fact, um, this is the latest message I got. It said, hi, Greg. Thank you for the information because I've been updating them on what I've been observing and what everyone's reporting to me. Uh, this situation is requiring us to dig a little deeper on our end, and I do appreciate your patience while we are doing, while we have been doing so. Once I get an update, I will get back to you ASAP. So apparently they're working on it. Hey, Skylar, it's just you and me. <laughs> I don't, uh, let me ask you, Skylar, did you get notified? What, did it pop up on your computer that um, I was live, or did you see it in your notifications? Um, because it, I'm not reaching anyone. You're the only one. You and Jean. <laughs> anyway, I'm just curious. Um, I want to do an update. Uh, I did an, an update earlier uh, today with Michelle Walling, and uh, we were covering what the three frequencies that I had heard up until that point and I'll be posting this on the In5D YouTube channel because it seems like a lot more people are able to <laughs> get it there than here. But earlier today, let me check this out. Okay, so we had the day started out in the key of C, which is the root ch chakra, and then it went to the key of D, which is the sacral chakra, then to G. And that was as of when I made that video earlier today. But since then, I've been charting this and it went into the key of B, which is the crown, and then a C sharp, was, which is in between the root chakra and the sacral chakra. So if you look at this in order, it's root, sacral, throat, crown, and then goes back to root, sacral. So you can see a pattern going on here. I did notice, though, um, for those people that do have the leaky ear, I know Luna Ash was talking about that, and she was saying that it's an overstimulation of the pineal gland that's causing that. I found that interesting. But the leaky ear, I noticed I had it really bad, and that happened in the key of B, which is associated with the crown chakra. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Jean's saying no notification again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right now we it's showing that we have four people when normally we should have this time of the evening um, probably 80 100 <laughs> but we're still going to put it out there and we're going to still reach everyone uh, through the YouTube channel our n 5 d YouTube channel I'll be uploading this to that on there so but you guys I you know I've been thinking about this what if we already shifted and these are just the people that shifted with us I don't know. <laughs> it's a good sign if you're seeing it, I guess, <laughs> right now. So, as I mentioned, you know, the, the, the day started out in the key of C, then we went to D, then G, then B. Now it's, it's C sharp, which is this sound. Let me um, turn my amp on a little. Okay, so that's the high pitch frequency. But imagine that note several octaves higher, like a you know a much higher sound than that. But that's the key. That's the the pitch. So a C sharp. This, this would be the C-sharp on a guitar. 
and it would be the C sharp is in between this fret, which is a C, and this fret, which is a D. According to our chart, the C is the root chakra and the D is the sacral chakra. So a C sharp would basically be a little of each. It's almost like being on the cusp. You know, if you're born on like the 19th through the 21st or something like that, it'd be like a cusp. So that's a, like kind of a cusp note, C sharp. And once again, this is this, this is as high up as I can play it on the guitar, the C sharp. But like I said, the octave is probably two or three octaves higher than this. That's the high pitch frequency going on right now. So bear with me for a second. Let me know uh, if you're listening right now. Do you hear that? Something, I, I know a lot of people are hearing high pitch frequencies. That's the key that it is right now, C sharp. Okay, and I'm just looking up the meaning right now. Okay, C minor is the declaration of love and at the same time the lament of unhappy love all languishing longing sighing of the lovesick souls that lie in this key And the key, once I, once again, it's it's the C, it's in between the C and the D. It's this one right here. It's a C sharp major, the minor would be. That note would make it the minor. But it's this one. So Jean is saying that she hears this one. And thank you, Jean, for inviting people. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be here. This is just a quick update that I'm doing, but we do have eight people here right now. And I'm very grateful for those who were able to find me somehow. Because like I said, I'm not appearing on people's notifications, so. I don't know how you got here, <laughs> but thank you. Yes, Gene, it's much higher. It's, it's several, like two or three octaves higher than. You could, like here, here would be an octave lower. There's an octave lower, so you have this. But it would be several octaves higher than that. So. Yeah, that's what's happening, Michelle. Uh, no notification, but I'm showing up on the news feed. And it should just pop right up if you're on, on a laptop. It should just pop right up on your lower left-hand corner if you have been noted if you're supposed to be notified when I go live so
Kristen saying, I have you as C first, so I didn't get a notification, but you appear near the top of my, my news feed. Yeah, it should just pop, pop right in. But it's okay, we're still going to reach people regardless. Um, maybe they'll see it in the article, maybe they'll, they'll see it on YouTube. But we got to get this information out there. This is huge because, you know, we're, we're finally getting an understanding of why we're getting these high pitch frequencies and what these keys mean. And what I've been doing is delving in a little bit deeper into these keys. And each key, for example, the C sharp major would be. So you have the C sharp, the A, the D, the F sharp, and the G sharp. So not only within that C sharp major chord, you have the C sharp, but within that you also have individual notes that comprise the C sharp. So what I've been doing and what I recommend people to do as well is to check out the other notes that are associated with this. And when I do these updates, I'll include that as well. But like I said, that's the C sharp, the A, the D, the F sharp, and the G sharp. Uh, and let's just take a quick peek here at what those are. Okay. So we already talked about the C sharp, the C minor, uh, the A, okay. That would be an A major. This key includes the declarations of innocent love, satisfaction with one's state of affairs, hope of seeing one's beloved again when parting, youthful cheerfulness, and trust in creator source. So like I said, within that C minor, we have the A. Let's check out our next one. Then we go into the, the D, which is that, that note right there. And the D, is the key of triumph, of hallelujahs, of war cry, of victory rejoicing, thus the inviting symphonies, the marches, holiday songs and heaven rejoicing choruses are set in this key. Then the F sharp. And back to the G sharp. F sharp. Triumph over difficulty, a free sigh of relief uttered when hurdles are surmounted. That's a good sign. Echo of a soul which has fiercely struggled and finally conquered lies in all uses of this key. And then we have the G sharp, the last one within this chord. And that would be discontent, uneasiness, worry about a failed scheme, bad tempering, gnashing of teeth, and a word resentment and dislike. So you have these beautiful notes within disharmony, and these are all tied into the root chakra. So many composers knew this, and they would write their symphonies around a certain <laughs> and they would write their symphonies around certain keys and notes. But as you can see, even within that one key, there's all sorts of great meanings and then other meanings that, okay, it makes you think about. Um, right now, there's a lot of stuff that's going on around the world. So you can see the disharmony that's going on within these keys and why these frequencies are coming in at these specific tones. 
And I think part of it is to help us transmute. And I think on a multi-dimensional level, there's deeper messages embedded within these frequencies and tones. But for now, this is as far as we're going. Um, I don't see anyone really researching this. So this is kind of like a new area of research. And fortunately, I do have a musical background. I learned how to play guitar at a young age, like, I don't know, eight, 10 years old, somewhere like that. And uh, I think it really kind of helped me prepare me to be where we are right now and to be able to explain these high pitch frequencies to you guys and what they mean and try to tie it in. Now, what I also noticed is that there are, let me see if I can pull this up too. Bear with me for a second. Okay, yeah. So there's, we have the seven chakras. We also have seven planets, the seven hermetic planets that align up with each chakra. So for example, the first, the root chakra would be Mars. Uh, the sacral chakra is Venus. The solar plexus is the sun. The heart chakra is the moon. The throat chakra is Mercury. The third eye is Saturn. And the crown chakra is Jupiter. So we're looking at right now the root and the sacral chakra which would be the first two chakras. And so that we're looking at Venus and Mars. And what is Venus? You know, the, Venus is Aphrodite. It's the, the, the love planet. And Mars is the planet of war. So they're conflicting each other. And that's why we're seeing within these notes. <laughs> beauty and harmony with dissonant resonance. So it makes perfect sense. The first chakra is the I am chakra, and the second chakra is the I feel chakra. So I am with Mars. <laughs> I am fighting. I am fight or flight, basically. And I feel, you know, I feel from the heart. I feel with emotion. They're conflicting. And we have them both within this chord. Does that make sense? This first chakra is the ability to survive, stability, and the sacral chakra is sensuality, tender, tenderness, and spontaneity. So once again, it's almost conflicting ideas that are going and are attached to these two chakras with, we're looking at the C, and a D and a chord in between. And that's where we're at right now. We're in between the C and the D, which would be a C sharp. And if you're just tuning in, this is the note right here, way up here on the, on the fretboard. And imagine that being two or three octaves higher. That's the note where we're at right now. And this has been changing. And today has been the busiest day of high frequency change that I've noticed since I started tracking this on November 11th. We started out with C, went into D, then G, then B, and back to C sharp. And we're seeing this pattern for those that are just tuning in. Um, C being the root and then going into the sacral chakra, then the throat, the crown, the root, the sacral. I would assume the throat and the crown would be next if we're going to be following this, this pattern. We're also covering all of the major chakras. The first two frequencies that we heard today uh, of uh, the key of C and the key of D, the C basically skipped over every other chakra. But the next frequency that came in, the, the D covered those chakras that were skipped over, so it was a perfect blend. Wow. <laughs> Gene is saying when you play those notes, the ringing gets louder. That's the pitch I heard. I mean, earlier today it was. 
And I can still hear this one. It's almost like it's overlaid. That's interesting. The, the G is the throat chakra. I can hear that along with... But do you see how they're almost dissonant from one another? So together they would sound like this, a very dissonant sound. And I can hear them both, but it's this one that's the most predominant right now. Does that make sense? To, I don't know. This is really new to me, and we're jumping into an area that nobody's really talking about, or I've never heard anyone talk about this before. So I'm learning a lot each day, and I'm trying to refine this and figure it out for all of us. I know that many of us are hearing this and I've gotten a lot of confirmation with these high pitch frequencies from other people when I do this live that that's the exact same note that other people are hearing. Now, not everyone are hearing these high pitch frequencies. Some people are just getting different sounds. Maybe some, we've heard, we've had reports of people hearing clicking sounds or like an SOS kind of pop, 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 pop kind of sound. Like, yeah, like a Morse code, uh, but for me, it's a perpetual. Sometimes it starts in one ear and oscillates back and forth to the other ear and just goes in and out, in and out, in and out. Other times it's a predominant, like right now, I'm hearing it predominantly in my right side. The right side is the divine masculine. It's also in accordance to QHHT. It's something that's going on in your present life. So what we're looking at is the key of C sharp, which is the root sacral chakra and something that is being transmuted, hopefully, and uh, moving me forward and all of us as the collective, because it's not just me, it's uh, everyone else that's hearing those notes. As I mentioned on a multi-dimensional level, there's so much more and it goes a lot deeper into things that you would only know on, you know, through your higher self um, that would be decoded on that kind of level. Hey, Stacy. Thank you for joining us. How did you find us? Because <laughs> you're not coming up on the notifications. Um, Stacy, let me ask you, do you hear this? That high pitch frequency in that key? Julie is saying, in the law of one, a positive greeting affirmation. That's what the right side means? It's a positive greeting, uh, an affirmation of having a positive greeting. That's pretty cool. I love learning new stuff like that. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so Julie's confirming that, that the right side is a positive right. greeting and an affirmation of a positive, or is it an affirmation and or a positive greeting, or is it the affirmation that you're having a positive greeting? <laughs> it's funny, Linda. Yes, I'm hearing it in both ears too, Gene. It's predominantly in the right ear, though. I'm hearing it louder in my right ear than the left ear, but I do hear it hear it in both ears. 
Stacy, do you hear this key right now? As a high pitch frequency. Okay, so a clarification from the law of one, when you hear something from the right-hand side, according to what Julia just wrote here, greeting is the term they use, but it means a confirmation of either positive or left negative. Interesting, so there's something, we're getting some something right, right, on the right side, something positive. So that's an, uh, I appreciate that, thank you. So whatever, because I am hearing it myself, and this helps me with my interpretation for my personal interpretation. You know, everyone's going to have, you know, something that they're going to find within themselves. But for myself, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I vote ACDC. <laughs> no, we're not playing music. <laughs> Stacy's like, yes. No. 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 Anyway, I think I'm going to be leaving it off at that. That's what I wanted to cover today. Uh, just real quick. We started out in the key of C this morning. It quickly went to D. Between the C and the D, it covered all seven chakras. And then we went into the key of G and back to B which we finished up with last night and then into C sharp. So we're looking at the crown, the root, the sacral, the throat, the crown, the root, the sacral. <laughs> we're seeing a pattern that's going on here. And we're starting to be, we're getting to that point of where we're understanding a little bit deeper about what these high pitch frequencies mean and how they are being integrated within our daily lives. Uh, through everything that's going on. And it, I think it's a reflection of the global consciousness as well. Um, we have these energies that are coming in. Every energy has its own frequency. So some of us are more attuned to what, you know, at least what we can hear audibly and are able to decipher and report back to you on what these notes mean. I'm just so blessed that I have an idea, you know, through the guitar you know, what, what we're hearing, and then through the interpretation, try to figure it out. I'm in this boat with you guys. It's, it's really a new realm of study. No, no one's doing it. So that's it right there. That's what we're hearing. That pitch. And I'm sure by tomorrow it'll change. I've been, uh, charting these since the 11th and I could probably write a song out of all these notes that I've heard. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the notes of today anyway. So we had the C, we started out in a C, which would be, and then D, and then G. So we went. <laughs> C, D, G, and then to a B and then a C minor. So it's been all over the place, but it, you can obviously make songs out of what you're hearing and uh, it would probably be pretty cool. How cool would that be to make a song for each day of the, the days high pitch frequencies. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to leave it off at that. I'm so grateful that at least 14 people were able to join me on this um, impromptu in 5D Facebook Live. Um, I'll be doing this every day, um, probably in the morning 
um, sometime around 10 o'clock or so. I'll be doing a Facebook Live giving you guys that specific note of the frequency that I'm hearing at that time. But it changed, and as of this time, it's this right here, which is the C sharp. So, until tomorrow, I will be back tomorrow with another update after... After I do the beach update, I'm not doing these anymore, the high frequency updates with beach updates. I want to separate them. Let's kick the beach to the beach and the woo-woo stuff <laughs> here. So until then, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from 5D.com. Namaste.